Uh, Tim, first of all, just tell us a bit about the atmosphere. If you were able to take it in walking out there in Madison Square Garden, or was it kind of just hyper focus on the fight? I'm always able to stay pretty focused, but you can't ignore the energy in this building right now. Uh, even last night at weigh ins, it, there was an incredible amount of energy, nothing I've ever experienced at a weigh in. So I knew tonight was going to be on another level, and it was. Uh, I was happy to deliver to the crowd. Tell us a bit about uh, sensing, like timing out Natal, because he can often try to stifle a lot of strikers, be elusive. I mean, was that was that kind of the game plan, just getting that timing down and being able to open up for those strikes? Yeah, I knew, and I knew he could be, uh, you know, elusive and rangy and, and give guys some problems. But uh, I felt like we had a pretty good game plan coming in to close the distance and, and not let him run like he was going to. Uh, and I hit him early and hurt him early, which was a big help in any fight when you can clip a guy early. Um, so that was a big factor. I knew he didn't want too many more of those right hands, and I, I was patient and uh, just waited for the opportunity to put one on him. And he backed into the cage, which you know slowed down his retreat a little bit, and I was able to hit him right on the button. Did he do anything that, that surprised you? Was this kind of what you expected out of him? No. Uh, as soon as I came out, I heard his corner yelling about changing level and, and watching out. So I knew in, his, in some part of his game plan he was going to want to take it to the ground, but I heard his corner, and I knew that was our game plan right from the get-go. So... That allowed me to let my hands go a bit more uh, earlier than what I expected. But, uh, no, I wasn't surprised by anything. And uh, if you do find yourself surprised in a fight, you're probably in trouble. So a little word of advice to everybody out there, don't get surprised. <laughs> and just tell us a bit, a bit about that reaction at the end and, and where this ranks in your, in your career at this point, a victory in Madison Square Garden and in the fashion of what you did it. Uh, for me, it was just... I've had a great camp. Everything was on point the whole way through, and I truly believed I was going to knock him out. So when that became a reality, it was just overwhelming. It was incredible, and I'm still, it's kind of surreal, you know, but uh, what a feeling. You know, just, I feel so blessed to be able to do this, and uh, just an incredible feeling all the way around.